Charlie Cushane here. If you want to see how I made this beautiful new truck camper centering device, which features a roller and some uh, polyethylene pads that will center your truck camper, stay tuned and I'll show you how I made it. Okay, let's get started making some centering devices. First thing we do is cut some pressure treated wood because it's in the deck of my truck and it'll get wet all the time. Uh, we gotta cut some corners to match the shape of the truck. And then after that, we do some fine sanding to get it just right. Now I'm marking these pieces of metal and cutting them to length. After we cut the metal to length, then we take it over to the drill press and drill some holes. And this we'll use to mount to the actual wooden rollers. The next pieces we need to make are some ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene tapered centering blocks. And here we're cutting a taper on a block and then cutting it into smaller pieces. After they're into their smaller usable sizes, then we go ahead and put some mounting holes in it. The next thing we have to do is take apart these urethane centering rollers because we don't need the bracketry. Okay, Chip, it's time for you to get to work. Look at all the sawdust. You gotta pick up. Okay, after a couple of days of making parts, I think it's time we start putting a few things together. What do you say? Let's get started. All right, let's start putting these together. First a little glue, then we'll clamp it, flip it over, put some screws in, some of these big screws. The first part of the assembly is to securely glue and screw the spacer, which is the same thickness as the wheels, to the back side of the roller supports. Okay, let's put one of these together. To start the assembly, you put a half inch diameter bolt through, add the wheel and the other half of the wooden brace, put some glue on, and then screw it together, making sure everything's nice and tight and flat. And then at, after you're done, put three more screws, just like you did on the other side. Time to put these blocks on the front. Those are guide blocks. We're going to put them on with some glue. So let me show you how this is going to work. <clears throat> As the trailer is coming down, it will, the roller will touch on this piece of inch angle iron. And so it'll hit there, it'll get pushed over, this will ride, continue riding up as you lower it, then these nylon blocks right here start to hit, and it'll let, end up like this in the truck. 
without even the wheel touching right now. The All wheel right, let me show you how this roller fits in the truck. This gets pushed right like this, okay? Um, it sits on the bed of the truck and it's perfectly cut to match the, the sheet metal of the truck such that any force down on this roller goes right into the bed or pushed back goes against this back. So all the force is carried by the bed of the truck. Okay, the first thing I have to do is center this. And I'm just going to set it at three and a half inches from the back. Now we're going to have to cut this mat. All right, let's start cutting this rubber. Put a piece of wood underneath. You know, because I don't want to cut my bed. Cutting my bottom mat with the multi-tool really does a nice, neat job of the process. The next part of the process is to attach these 1 16th inch thick metal straps from one roller assembly to another, and these assure an exact spacing but also, more importantly, it keeps them aligned straight to each other. All right, time to install this in the truck. It's good. These metal bands keep the spacing perfect. All right, here's the second one. Installing the second set of rollers goes just as smooth as the first one. Now it's time to start on some hold down wedges that will hold the roller assembly down and tight to the bed of the truck. The next thing I do to these hold downs is add some lightning holds and then add a taper to the side to match the hold size and then we go on to sand it and do a final router to take care of all the sharp edges. Okay, now it's time to give these a coat. A couple coats of this Helmsman Spar Urethane. And this is good exterior, ex interior, exterior polyurethane. I'm just giving it two coats. Even though it's pressure treated, this will just seal it up. Perfect. Okay, now it's time to seal the, the rollers in the truck. All the hold down and rollers get two coats of polyurethane. One done, three more to go. Okay, now it's time to install these four hold down blocks. So let me show you how those work. Okay, it's time to install these hold down blocks. And all they're designed to do is hold this down so that if for some reason the trailer gets wedged against it and tries to lift up, this can't lift. And it's simple. I cut a notch that fits the top rail just like that. And it goes over just like you see there. Get nice and centered. There we go. And then I put a couple of screws in. And that holds it down 
It's like a wedge. Holds it down tight. That's nice and tight. I can't move that at all. Well, that'll hold it nice. And I put these holes in it in here to just make it a little bit lighter. And it's all got a coat of polyurethane. So it's ready to test out. Let's put... Okay, a couple of things I definitely want to mention before we load the camper, which I'm ready to do, is this is about five inches tall. So, from the bed of your truck, you want to raise it a little higher than you normally would to make sure you clear this when you're backing in. That's the first thing to remember. The second thing is, this is only to center the last inch that you may be off. It's not to bring it in from six inches. That won't work. And it will wreck your legs, your lifting legs. So, only use it for the last inch or so of travel that you want to center, you know, it, and it'll just bring you right down. So if you remember those two things, we're good to load. Here you see the camper being lowered down toward the block. The first thing it does is touch the wheel and start rolling. You see the wheel rolling to the right and it follows that wheel out until it gets to the block and then it hands it off to the block and then it follows all the way down to the bed of the truck and that is what keeps it centered. Okay, right here you can see the roller moving and then it hands it off to the block which pushes it slightly more to the right and then straight down right to the bed where it's held nice and firm. This picture shows the camper all loaded and the roller not even touching. There you go. Another perfect alignment. 